Hey friends, Susan Gregory here. And today I want to share with you about something that is really affecting a lot of people in our country as well as the world. Before I get started, if you want to hear more of these messages, hit the subscribe button and that little bell and then you'll be notified whenever I do a new video. I talk about faith, I talk about the Daniel Fast, I talk about bringing Christ into the center of every part of your life. But today, I want to talk with you about anxiety, about feelings of overwhelm, even about depression. So many people are struggling with that today, even though it may not really be profound, but a lot of people are really having problems with even anxiety that they can't tie to anything. There's a lot going on in our world today. Now, keep thinking of that word the world today. There's a lot that we are facing. A lot of people are struggling. So this is what I would encourage you to think about and to take some actions on. I want to encourage you to return to your center. Now I'm assuming that if you're listening to this message that you have a relationship with Jesus Christ. He is the center of our lives. Well, so what do I mean when I say return to your center? When we feel like we're off course, when we have got worry, fear, anxiety, any of those things, that is something of the world. That is something of our flesh. That is something of our emotions. Remember, you are a spirit. That's that part of you that was born again when you accepted Christ as your Savior. You have a soul. That's your emotions, your intellect, your will, and then you live in a body. Well, sometimes our emotions can really go through some struggles. And Jesus explained to us, he says, in this world, there will be trouble but be of good cheer, be happy, be of good cheer, because I have overcome the world. Remember, the world. We live according to the kingdom of God, but, we, but there is this world. So Jesus also says to us, peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So that's what I say. Come back to that center. And I'm going to share some things, some actual how-tos to do that in just a couple minutes. This isn't a long video. It's going to be a quick video. But these are practical things that you can start putting into effect today. Again, remember the powerful invitation that Jesus Christ gave gives you. He says, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. So think about this. He says, come to me, he is our center. Come to him. Lean into him. And then he says, all you who labor and are heavy laden. I get it. A lot of times we feel heavy laden and pressure because of what's going on around us. And sometimes they are tied to things that we're dealing with, a, with a tough relationship, or maybe we've got some health issues, or maybe there's a financial burden. All of those things, we want to come to him about those. And what does he say he will give us? He will give us rest. Now rest, that's not like sleep kind of rest. That is a rest for our soul. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. Remember what I just said? You have a soul. That is where your emotions are. So you are a spirit, you have a soul, and then you live in a body. So he will give you rest for your souls. He will give you that peace that surpasses all understanding. It's like we can't even make sense of it. 
It doesn't make sense in our natural mind. That's because it is his peace that he gives to us. And he will give you rest. He will give you that calm. He will give you that assurance. We want to put our trust in him. And then we also see in his word where it says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. That's focus your attention, your thought life on these things. This is our part of the equation. Our Lord has so much to give us. He offers us his peace. He offers us his rest. He offers us this amazing trust that we can have in him. But our part is to think on these things, to unplug from all of the crazy anxiety giving things that can be so present in our daily lives. That may mean turning off your computer. It may mean not engaging in social media. It may mean really choosing what kinds of television shows you listen to. It may mean sitting in peace, sitting in quiet, and really meditating on the truthful messages, the truthful life-giving word that we receive from God. Calming ourselves, putting ourselves in that place of rest. So I encourage you to Like I said, return to your center. Discover what that center is if you don't know what it is. That center is your life in Christ. That center is that place where you can sit in his presence. That center is that place of calm, that place of quiet, that place of rest. That is how you crush anxiety. That is how you move out of the things that are the pressures that you may be feeling in the world and you move into the calm and the peace that he can give you. I hope this is helpful. And again, I do encourage you to subscribe and to hit that little bell so you'll be notified. I share about faith issues, about the Daniel fast, about bringing Christ into the center of every part of your life. Remember, we are in this world, but we are not of it. That is the life we have. We are different. We have a separate life that we can live. God is so good. He treasures you. He loves you. And he is there to meet your needs. Okay, bye for now.